Welcome back to another installment of Professor Charles' is Live. Um, and today is going to be a video on um, my journey as a content creator. Uh, and let me just be honest with you. I originally started my channel um, not last year. Um, the year before that, I, I had another plan what I was going to do with the channel. It didn't really, I didn't really like how, where it was going. Um, but I decided to keep going with my channel. So last year was really the year that I, I put more time and effort into my channel, um, and the reflection of, of where I am at now. Um, last year around this time in November, I was around maybe 70, 80-ish um, amount of subs um, around November. Um, before then, um, I had, you know, way back earlier that year, I had four subs. And that was because I hadn't really put time into, like, promoting it and, and, and telling people about it and everything. Um, but personally... Um, now that I, I look back on it, there was a lot of things I took from that. Um, originally, let me just tell you this and let me just keep it a hundred. Just because you know other content creators does not absolutely mean that it will work out in that favor. Because trust me, I knew other content creators. And the sad thing about it is it didn't get me nowhere. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying all of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying all of them were that way. But the ones that were trying, like, hey, let's do something together, and it'd be a big group of us and not just one or two people, it just didn't work out. And sometimes people people just talk. And, and when they talk, sometimes it just doesn't really help. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool to talk. You know what I'm saying? But if you're not really about your word, I can't really depend on that. You know what I'm saying? So... That, that was one thing. That's probably why I struggled with my 100 subs, honestly. Um, but it was worth it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, some of them I just never heard from again. You know, we used to comment on people's stuff and content. And it just, you know, one day they just up and stop commenting and eating a sub. Um, so there is, I don't know what it is with this whole rivalry and ego thing. It's a little weird. You know what I'm saying? We're all in the same lane. Um, you know what I'm saying, as content creators, but some of us let pride, e envy, jealousy, these traits to manifest in oh well, so and so doing better than me, I'm jealous of them. Or so and so got this going on with their channel, they got more subs than me, I'm jealous of them. Or they got pe many people commenting, and it's the most ridiculous thing. Um, and and, and when people can't keep their word. You know, that's that's a very difficult thing. You know what I'm saying? That, that kind of makes me look at a person differently when it comes to certain things. I'm like, okay, well, if you couldn't keep your word, what makes you think I'm going to believe what you got to say now? So that's probably why I struggle with the 100 subs. <laughs> you know, um, the other thing I've learned um, with this reflection is uh, be willing to promote your stuff. You know, and, and I mean that, you know what I'm saying? And I, I know it's hard for us. Some of us, we expect everyone else to promote our stuff. And I don't try to force that on people. Like, yeah, you better promote my stuff. Do it right now. Or, or, or uh, yeah, yeah, promote my stuff. Or, or just like, oh, I know they're going to promote my stuff. I got this out now. I know they're going to promote it. You know what I'm saying? So um, some of us got to get out of the sense of having others do it and have more of us doing it, you, the content creator of what you're doing, because at the end of the day, you are your biggest promo tool. You know what I'm saying? You can make skits about it. You can show a picture of it. You can tell people about it. You can inbox people about it. There should be no excuse of why you're stuck with certain amount of subs, and you know what I'm saying, without you promoting it. Because we, we have all different type of tools to promote it. You got business cards. You can do business cards. You got the internet. You got social media. You got Instagram. You got Twitter. I don't want to hear any of these excuses. Oh, well, I, I just, you know, I, I've been promoting. Promote. 
just keep promoting and, and, and eventually people are going to really catch on. I know it sounds a little bit generic, but it's true. I know everybody's not going to be the genuine person that subs to your channel, but make sure you're genuine. You know what I'm saying? And people will eventually come around if they really rock with your content, if they really believe in what your channel is about, they will stay. The ones that don't, they will expose themselves and in different forms too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I think the problem with some of us, we have gotten lazy. We expect everyone else, friend, family member, cousin, co-worker to promote it and y'all not promoting it yourself. Shame on you. Shame on you. You know what I'm saying? So that's something that I also learned. Uh, I didn't mind people. People promoted it, but I was more so doing more of the effort. Even though there are the people that were promoting the channel, I do appreciate that. But it's more of me doing it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I know, you know, and I, and I appreciate the people that have done that. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't go unnoticed. You know, I do shots outs. They're in my Insta stories. I used to do a uh, shout out um in my in my videos and i kind of like stopped doing it because you know i didn't want to keep doing it uh and stuff like that also um the other thing i've noticed with my my journey um i'll talk about this year um this year and, and part of last year part <laughs> i'll say partially last year i started to understand um just because you don't have a, a supportive community or or community you can create a community you know what i'm saying uh you know and i know that takes time too that's a time thing too but there are eight hours in a day <clears throat> and a lot of us we have eight hours what are you doing with your eight hours put some time aside to make a community with your channel honestly i will honestly say this i did not originally have a community for my channel you know what i'm saying i, I look back at last year and I'm like, I ain't really had no community. You know what I'm saying? There was no um, solid community. I mean, yeah, I had a few people here and there that were um, genuine supporters. But even some of them wouldn't even comment. You know what I'm saying? Some of them wouldn't even comment. <laughs> and, you know, and that point, it was one person that was like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to name the person because it's the past. I don't even care about it no more. Um, but you know what I'm saying? Make sure you, you get a community of people that really rock with your channel and, and, and network. It's nothing wrong with coming across other people. Um, there are content creators on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, make, make some new connections with people, man. You never know, man. There are, there are some dope content creators out there. Um, don't be scared about it. Um, you just have to really understand Everyone's not going to be happy for you as a content creator, realistically. Um, but the good thing about it is you get to make new um, collaborations could come from it. I've, I've collaborated with content creators. Um, I also have a content creator bestie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Somebody that's in the lane with me. Um, and I not truly do appreciate that person. Uh, that was, you know, natural healing actually made my banner. I, I truly do appreciate that. Um, you know what I'm saying? Cause like I said, I didn't have a banner at first. Um, originally I had a banner that I was going to do. Um, I, I just, I don't know, man, you know, it just didn't feel right. You know what I'm saying? You know, people, people have ideas and, and want to do things. Um, but personally, I just felt like, um, I had a better time just, finding someone else to do the banner and, and really understand me and, and took the effort and the patience and the commitment to help me out as you know, we helped each other out. You know what I'm saying? Um, that was something I appreciated. And also other kinds of creators, man, we, we pushed and motivated one another. Um, you know what I'm saying? So that's something that I, I can I could never forget that, man. When people help you, um, even if they weren't content creators, I, I want to thank y'all too. Some of y'all have helped me along the way and I can't, I can't forget that. You know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of people make it seem like, oh, well, I'll never come across decent content creators. Yes, you will. Um, you really have to believe that. You know what I'm saying? Um, the other thing was, uh, me versus last year. Um, I, I had a, a, a goal, you know what I'm saying? I think each month 
at a goal. And most of the time, I'm, I'm either at that goal or I'm near close near that goal when it came to subs. You know what I'm saying? I even had a, a goal of having uh, content creators from other places, you know what I'm saying, to be my uh, community. That's something I wanted because um, last year I noticed I didn't really have content creators from other places across the sphere. Um, and I was like, dang, I, I'm, I'm missing something. You know, I go to people pages and I wouldn't be jealous or anything. I would just, you know, go observe, comment, check out their stuff. Um, but I didn't have that. I didn't have people from other places. And I said, realistically, I said this year, I, I want content creators from other places across the globe, not just the Midwest, you know, Africa, California, Chicago, wherever these people are from. That was the goal, realistically. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and I start to see that. It started to manifest within this universe that I started to see content creators from other places, Jamaica, Africa, California, uh, West Virginia, Texas, you know, all these different places, China, you know what I'm saying? And, and I was just like, yo, this is what I wanted. This is what I, I had on my my actual whiteboard as my AKA my vision board. So I start to have monthly sub goals. I start to remind myself I need to get with the program because I have not reached it. I still have a whiteboard. I still, I am close. I'm not there. <laughs> I'm getting close to, to my goal for, uh, this month. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and I, and I look back on it, you know what I'm saying? Um, also, um, learning from other content creators. That, that was something too. Um, a lot of people don't know. Originally, I didn't have an intro. Uh, for my actual channel there was no intro and that was something i had to figure out as i go this is why being a content creator is, is always a constant learning experience yes i know at some point it was discouraging for me but it wasn't for everything it was only one month one month <laughs> okay it wasn't a whole year like i'm discouraged a whole year no it's <laughs> just one month um but i still kept going uh, but like I said, I, I really didn't have an intro and I know a lot of y'all going to be shocked to say that I didn't have an intro. I didn't No intro it was just what's up. <laughs> and I had to find something that appealed to people. What, what do people want to hear when you do an intro? Um, I didn't have no picture intro. I didn't have no video intro. So I said, you know what? I'm going to incorporate singing to it. Now, originally it was going to be rap, but I know everybody don't like rap. <laughs> but uh that was something i had to find what works what's gonna get people to gravitate towards my channel um also my personality i have a very animated personality um you know what i'm saying and very introspective too um you know what i'm saying so that that was something that also worked with my channel um i did not portray those things quite well at the beginning of last year <laughs> when I had the four subs, you know, also, uh, my biggest thing was changing up the content. You know what I'm saying? Uh, originally when I had only a small amount of subs, I didn't really change up the content like I should have. And I think that was also another downfall. Not just, that I didn't have other YouTubers. That I actually knew, they were really checking out my stuff, but that also played a factor. Yes, sir. You already know. Um, and that's something I had to understand. Um, also, uh, people, um, there are YouTubers that want to see you succeed. I know that it's a very competitive in the YouTube streets out here or the YouTube world, AKA the YouTube world, but there are genuine people. I know. It's hard to decipher sometimes who's genuine is not genuine because sometimes people have them smiling faces, smiling faces. Sometimes they don't tell the truth. You got people like that are that's deceiving people out here. And I understand that. But you have to decipher and understand who's being true when they send me these messages, when they inbox me on Instagram or Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Or if they comment on something on Twitter or Instagram, even Facebook, 
Are they being truly genuine? And sometimes I know that can be hard, but trust in your intuition when it comes to that. If you know that it seems very genuine, 100% is probably genuine. If it doesn't feel right, then it doesn't feel right. Follow your intuition. That's going to help you decipher who are your real subscribers versus these face subscribers out here. Also, what I learned <laughs> reflecting on my journey. Uh, it was it was harder coming up as a content creator, um, but it, it worked out in the end. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just because something is difficult does not mean that you give up um, completely. You know what I'm saying? Uh, sometimes you have to find new ways to make things work. And I know sometimes a lot of us don't want to change our mindset or our belief on changing how we think or how we look at something, <coughs> but it helps realistically, excuse me. Um, but it, it really does help. Um, and sometimes we have to understand we are the problem. We don't want to change. We want to, we want to put out the same content, but it's not getting us nowhere. We, we, we do videos, right? But there's no one commenting. I, I know I've been there. I, I've been there, y'all. I, that's why I'm, a, I'm saying that because I'm not trying to be like, oh, no, I ain't never been there. I've been there last year, <laughs> okay? When I had a small amount of subs, them four subs, yes, it, it didn't work. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't have anything that was catchy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I had to understand I got to change my way of thinking, you know? So that that's that's the other thing. Also, um, for me, uh, with this journey, this year was way more easier, man. But <laughs> let me just say this, pause. Er, there were problems with that too. Um, I had a fast growth with my content on my channel this year. It was a lot. Once I passed 100 subs, I started to see my channel kind of just take off. Like, one, two, three, you know, and I wasn't used to the fast growth with it at first, but I had to understand, I had to be comfortable with it. I had to be okay with it just because it is new and it's uncomfortable. It's not always a scary experience. You know what I'm saying? That's because we bring that illusion on, you know what I'm saying? That, oh, no, I, I, I'm scared. I, I, I wouldn't be able to do this, you know, um, it's just that uh, I wasn't comfortable at first with it, but I, I grew to understand, like, this is what is happening. It is coming, and I, I just have to be okay with it, accept it, do not stress about it, or or, or be um scared of this new growth with my channel. You know what I'm saying? So when I look back on it, <laughs> last year was very difficult. Um, This year... I had to find another way to get my channel to grow. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm glad that I took time um, online to build new connections with other content creators. And I am so thankful that I, I got a chance to get to know y'all, man. Because if I was going to go the route I originally had planned on going, I would have never came across some of these very interesting, introspective people, supportive um, you know what I'm saying? My my community. And, and now I look back on it, y'all. I'm just so thankful how far I come with this channel versus where it was at last year. Um, you know, also, I think for me, uh, another thing that I faced was I, I didn't want to be stagnant. You know what I'm saying? I, I look back, man, and, 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 you know, I said, man, I'm so happy that I did not stay stagnant. Um, you know what I'm saying? The whole year. Um, and that was something I told myself. I refuse to stay stuck in, in, in a predicament that I don't want to be in with this channel. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, being stuck from the beginning to the end. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I think this is why reflection is important. We have to reflect on the choices we make, the decisions we make, the lessons that we learn. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what life is about. We are learning different things as we go. And I'm constantly learning about these chat about my channel, what I can do to change it, what things that people can do, you know, I can do and stuff. That's why with my channel, I know a lot of y'all understand this. 
But that's why I give y'all versatile content. I'm not just this one dimensional content creator. I give you different, I give you story times. I give you advice and tips. I give you mud bangs. You know what I'm saying? I give you, uh, what is it? Um, I give you unpopular opinions, um, unpopular opinions, music edition. You know what I'm saying? I, I give, um, sub shout outs. At some point I was doing that. I give y'all movie reviews, TV show reviews. I never wanted to be a one dimensional person because I'm a very open minded person. If you look at my channel, my I'm a very open minded individual. So that was something that I had to understand. I said, I don't want to be like everybody else where they just giving you one type of content. I want to do different things. I want to explore different avenues. And that's what I did. I even did a gaming video. Y'all will be getting another gaming video. Trust and believe that. Um, but that's something I said to myself. But also having um the courage to um to try new things. Even um when I first started out this channel, I didn't have the best quality for video. You know what I'm saying? But did that discourage me to, to, do, to continue to not do videos? No. I worked with it. Even though my camera was the crappiest from my actual Android phone at the time, I had an LG. <laughs> Terrible video quality. <laughs> Great pictures. <laughs> but then when I got a better device or when I used my tablet, um, you know, that's what happens. Um, I've been able to have collaborations with people. Um, these are people that I've come across, whether it have been on Twitter and Instagram and, and build dope relationships with content creators from other places. You know what I'm saying? My very first, <coughs> excuse me, um, content creator, um, supporter, um, you know what I'm saying? From not even from the States, my very first one, uh, from another country. And then I'm from the States was dope. Uh, with Jimmy Diaries of Jamisha, man, I did appreciate that. That was the first person I done that with. Um, you know, the other person I originally had that idea with, it just didn't pan out right. You know what I'm saying? And I was okay with that. I had to accept like this is not gonna work. It wasn't genuine. You know what I'm saying? But with the second person that I had in mind, it worked out. Uh, and like I said, I don't I don't mind collaborating with people. When you collaborate with people, it kind of gives other people the spotlight. You know what I'm saying? You can learn about their channel. You can sub to their channel. That's why I like to collaborate with people. Not that I don't like to do solo lives. But this is my reflections video today, guys. I hope you learned from it. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back at 8 p.m., guys. Until next time, guys, have a great day. I'm out.